want some gangsters from your motherfucking house We'll set this bitch out Set this bitch out We'll set this bitch out Like being away from life, man Like in jail, like that shit the, the closest thing to death You know what I'm saying? You just conscious You know what I'm saying? Like people forget about you You know what I'm saying? Like there's gonna be a few people You know what I'm saying? And like death There's gonna be a few people that visit your gravesite. Like when you see me, you know one thing, it's some, some gangster shit that's bound to happen, you know what I'm saying? So I don't have to do all that, you know? My presence do it, my aura, you know what I'm saying? You see a color when you see me, you see an aura. You know, you might see blue, green, or black, because it's black heart over here, you know what I'm saying? But you know one thing, this nigga done done some shit. So therefore, I don't have to show you, you know? Then it's always the music, listen to it. Story like that. Who with me? Who against me? I can't see the difference. I can see the distance. Premonitions. I see niggas missing. Who cool dead bodies in bad conditions? Lacking morticians. Pray to God and ask for forgiveness after I whack the witness. For the ones who don't know who I am, my name is Percy Keith. You know, LNIC. You know, uh, that guy that went in on that guy. Yeah, this is, this is who I am. We're at the beginning of this whole ordeal. We're gonna be taking y'all to South Baton Rouge. You know, the heart of it, you know what I'm saying? And show y'all sneak peeks because I have a story to tell and it's long, you hear me? It's not a movie, you know? It's been something like the Game of Thrones, you know? We have seasons. Well, the reason why I like the Game of Thrones, I didn't, I, like, it took me years before I got into it. But the reason why I got into it, I was in prison. And I had to read every book that I could. And they had a book sitting on the table in the day room and, that, and the book was about this fucking thick. So I was like, well, fuck, if I get this book, then she ain't got to worry about reading nothing for a while. And it happened to be Game of Thrones. By the time I got halfway in it, I was like, fuck, I got to I gotta get it. I got to read every one. And I did. I got read every book and seen every season twice. Where y'all from, man? I'm from the box. Oh, right, wait, what? Sloan, the bottom. Oh, Trans all right. Oh, shit, no what? Oh, shit. Taking oh, losses ooh. with people and loved ones, those are the ones that you can't get back, at least not in this, you know what I'm saying, not in this life. You know what I'm saying? Maybe on the other side, you know? But the hardest one when I lost my nephew, Chief. You know what I'm saying? When I say nephew, I don't mean like he was five or six, like we was like five years apart. You know what I'm saying? And when that shit happened, like it really ripped me up. You know what I'm saying? Like it really ripped me up. And then my mom died while I was in jail, you know? So that was kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I couldn't really grieve because of where I was. And I'm already dealing with pressure from being there. You feel me? So it wasn't like I was there while she was sick and I seen it coming. The doctors was able to like tell me what was going on and I was prepared for it. Like, no, it wasn't none of that. Like, I was in jail doing, you know, things a nigga do in jail, reading workout, probably was reading Game of Thrones, you know? You know, the next morning, you know, our officer come wake me up, tap me on my bed. You know, I look up, I'm like, what's up, man? He like, man, you need to call home, man. Your mama passed away, you know? So those are losses that, you know, people take that, you know, you can't correct. Like money, that's nothing. Cars, clothes, those are things. You know what I'm saying? Just things, you know? That's why I don't dabble in things, you know? Diamonds are a girl's best friend anyway. You know, this is the back street, Jeremy. You know, this is where, you know, them little niggas really be yeah. You know. You got the Bozilla, you know. We know, you know, yeah. Rest in peace, Chief. You know what I'm saying? You know. BBG shit, you know. But this is what I want you to see. You know what I'm saying? You know. And these little niggas that done that, I'm talking about like 12 and 13, you know what I'm saying? They look up the niggas that really, you know, yeah. So that shit, you know, is generational, you know what I'm saying? But they call us here the evil side, you know what I'm saying? You know, yeah. See, superstitions and voodoo, you know, that shit just, you know what I'm saying? You know. There be things, you know what I'm saying, that be going on, you know what I'm talking about like real gangster shit, man, you know I mean? Right across the street from a church. You know, look at that shit. And just stay at the picture. You know what I'm saying? Be like that. 
Man, check this shit here out. Look at that shit. Now, this shit people don't see. They say art imitates life. You hear me? This is art. You don't even see it. You hear me? You got to know how to interpret art. You know what I'm saying? You might see pictures of, you know, a Picasso, you know, and it's just shit. And you don't know why that bitch costs hundreds of thousands of dollars. You hear me? Because you don't know how to interpret it. You know what I'm saying? You got the Holy Bible. And also, right up under that bitch, surrounded by it, niggas that's really like, yeah, man. You know, a pistol sitting on, same table that the Holy Bible is sitting on. You hear me? They go to show you how much a nigga give a fuck about life.